What's up guys, Patrick here, tour guide and your guide to Barcelona. Menorca is one of my favorite places to visit in all of Spain and taking advantage of a team trip. We had a game this weekend. We're here in Menorca, checking out some things and seeing what's going on all around the island. It's a place that in the summer I love to come and I've had a lot of good times. We're seeing what it's like and seeing what's going on. It's early, but you can see that there is nobody here at all. Just outside of security and nobody here. So they still had group numbers that they were calling and allowing different people to get on the plane and see how many there's actually on it. Not surprising to find a 7 a.m. flight on a Sunday to Menorca pretty empty, which was great to be able to stretch out our legs. However, the return flight that evening was full. The Balearic Islands are one of the few regions in Spain that remains open, but requires a special health form and specific reasons to enter. These forms produce a personalized QR code that is scanned as you enter. The controls and forms aren't as extensive as getting into Spain, so if you're interested in that process, click the link above to see my video outlining the process of flying into the country as a whole. Just got into Mao. Everybody had to pass the QR code to make sure everything was all right. Really smooth. Got in, and you can see, again, nobody back here. So it's real easy getting through all these airports. Menorca is one of four islands that makes up Spain's Balearic Islands, just about an hour away from Barcelona by plane. We spent the day in Maon, but on the other side of the island, the city of Ciutadella, gets a lot of traffic. Menorca is the preferred spot for Spanish visitors and is an incredibly popular tourist destination in general, known for its crystal clear waters and beautiful beaches. Because of the heavy reliance on tourism, Spain's islands have had different restrictions throughout the pandemic, something I was interested in seeing firsthand on this trip. And now we're walking over to have breakfast before the game. Gonna go find a spot. I'm not sure what the restrictions are in Menorca in terms of bars opening or the number of people you can have at a, at a table. To be honest, it's just kind of nice to be out of Barcelona. We got four people to a table. Sit on down, get some coffees. We got a nice big breakfast. This is a sandwich of sobrasada and queso, which is a cheese here, this queso de Mao, really special in Mao, Menorca. Uh, just right in there, that's what they're really known for. And sobrasada is kind of like a creamier chorizo, I would say, uh, but super famous here on the islands, and it's really, really good. Let's try it out. Out closer to the sea you can see a little bit of the cove what they call Calas here in Menorca and if you ever come over Menorca they're super super famous for all the different little calas that they have all these different little beaches and all these places that you can find it gets so popular in the summer that they actually have to close off some of the beaches because so many people are rushing over so you got to get up early in the morning and get out to these places A little bit better view of the cove, we're in Calas Fonts, as Albert, we're visiting Escastei, which is next to Mao, the capital of Menorca, and you can see everything around down here by the water, right there. There's the team in the back. Looking for a place. It looks like that restaurants close down at 5 p.m., but you can still be outside on the terraces until about 10. We got another Menorca specialty, which is called pumada, which is a mix of gin and lemonade. That's what it looks like, and it's good, nice and fresh. So 
we're back in the airport. We've got the last flight out of Menorca back over to Barcelona. It's actually the only flight that's in the airport right now. And it looks like there's a lot more people than there was earlier this morning. So it's been a pretty quick trip, uh, about 12 hours in total, relatively pretty quick. Uh, there and back, got to see a little bit of Menorca. And like I said, it was pretty cool just to be outside of Barcelona, realistically, uh, for the first time in, in a while. So hopefully you got to see a little bit of what's going on here. It looks a little empty a lot of times, but that's what happens a lot of times with the with the islands outside of those peak hours within summer. Finally, we're into Barcelona. Looks like we're the last flight to get in, at least. But I've flown in at all hours of the day to El Prat. I've never seen it this empty. It's like a ghost town in here. <laughs> Leave those comments below, give it that like and subscribe if you wanna see more, getting yourself ready for Barcelona and Spain in general when we can start to travel again. See you soon.